Hi everybody, I'm Hope from HopeYoder.com. I'm so excited. I'm here at Meisner Superstore in Sacramento and we're in the middle of a cutting edge retreat but I thought I'd show you something really cool. So we're actually embroidering on hats in this event. So we have this really cool hat with tackle twill and puff foam. So if you didn't know, Meisner's actually sell something called tackle twill and it comes on a big roll like this. So we're gonna be using this, and with the Brother Scan and Cut, we're cutting out the applique piece. This is a new embroidery collection you can get here at Meisner's called Patriotic Puff Foam, and we're using some puff foam. So let me come, oh, here's another cute little design from that. So let's come over to the embroidery machine. I have uh, this partially embroidered out, and I wanna show you the magic of puff foam. Okay, so this is tackle twill that we've cut and embroidered, and I have the tack down stitch already done. And this is a two millimeter craft foam. They have even thicker. And this is like when you walk into the um, mall and you see these hats embroidering on these beautiful machines. You could do this at home with as easy as the touch of a button. This is gonna stitch a satin stitch over the craft foam or the puff foam. And this has to be digitized for craft foam, so you can't do it with any satin stitch but in a moment we'll come back when the satin stitch is done and I'll show you how fun this is to use. All right, so we're done embroidering over the craft foam. We're just going to pull this hat frame out. That's an option for this. And at this point, let's stop this. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. And you're probably looking at this wondering, why did she put that foam on? And we're gonna go ahead and just rip off this foam. All right, and we'll throw that away. And then we'll take the foam out of the center of the letters. And at this point, that foam is just garbage. This is so fun, I love doing the craft foam. We'll get that out of the middle there. And then if you can see the height of that, you've got it sticking up at least two millimeters. And so our finished hat, white on white, looks like this. And so the craft foam just gives a lot of definition. One more tip for Saturday today from Hope at HopeYoder.com is the puff foam. You could just use an embossing tool to make it shrink back a little bit. So where you go from it looking a little bit hairy to nice and smooth by either using a blow dryer or an embossing tool. So I hope this helps you come into Meisner's and check out uh, the 10 needle machines, the hat frame, the tackle twill, and my designs from Designs by Hope Yoder.